In last lecture, we created this person object with these four properties, name, birth year, job, and is married. Now, what we want is, we want to access these properties and use it in our program. To access the property of an object, there are two ways in JavaScript. We can use dot notation or we can use square bracket notation. So let's see how to access the property of an object using these two notations. Let's say we want to access the name property of this person object and log it in the developer console. Now, in order to do that, we can either use dot notation or square bracket notation. So let me first show you how to use dot notation. The syntax for dot notation is to use object name dot the property name. So if you want to access the you know name property, then first you will have to use the object name, which is person dot the property name, which is name. So in this way, we have access to the name property of this person object. Let's store the value returned by this name property in a variable and let's simply call it n. Now to log that value, you can use console.log statement and you can log n. If I save the changes, you will see that John is logged here and that's what we have assigned to this name property. Other way is by using square bracket notation. And the syntax for square bracket notation is we use object name, then we use square brackets, and within the quotes, we specify the name of the property. So let's say we want to access this birth here property of this person object. So we can say person, then use the square bracket, and then within the quotes, you can specify the property name, which is birth year. So in this way, now we have access to the birth year property of this person object. Let's assign it to another variable. And let's call this variable simply B. And let's log this. So console.log B. If I save the changes, here you can see the value stored in this birth year property of this person object has been logged here. So these are the two ways in which you can access the property value. One is dot notation and another is square bracket notation. Now, if your property has multi words, multiple words like we have here for this is married property, then in that case, you cannot use dot notation. In that case, to access a property with multiple words, you will have to use square bracket notation. So let's try to access this property using square bracket notation. And for that, again, we use the object name, which is person in this case, we use square bracket and within the quotes, we specify the property name. So the property name is, is married. Now let's log the value stored in this is married property. So let's say console.log and let's simply log the value of this is married property. If I save the changes, you can see false is logged here. So in this way, you can access the property values of an object. Now here we are simply accessing the property values, but it is also possible to modify the property value using dot operator or square bracket notation. Okay. So let's first use dot notation to access a property and let's change its value. So let's say we want to change the value of this name property from John to Mark. In order to do that, first we will have to access that property and to access that property, we can use object name dot property name. Okay, so now we have access to the name property of this person object. And let's say we want to assign it another value, which is Mark. So here we have changed the value of this name property of this person object from John to Mark. And to check this, let's log this person object here. If I save the changes here, you can see the name, you know, the name, the value of the name property has been changed from John to Mark. 
Similarly, you can also use square bracket notation to access the property and change its value. So let's say we want to set the is married property of this person object to true. And to use square bracket notation, we say person, then we use square bracket and within the quotes, we specify the property name. Okay, so now we have access to that property and now we want to change its value. So let's set it to true. Now, if we log this person object again, and if I save the changes, here you can see the is married property value has changed from false to true. So in this way, you can also modify the value, you know, the property value of an object. So here we are accessing property values and here we are modifying property values now this person object currently has only four properties now it is also possible to add new properties to an object outside of it so for example here we have four properties and if we want to add a new property we can simply go ahead use comma and then add another property but it is also possible to add a new property after we have created the object for example let's say we want to add a gender property for this person object so we can simply do it by using either dot notation or square bracket notation so we say person dot and the property name let's say we want to add gender property Okay, so we can say person dot gender equals male. Now, if you notice here, we do not have any gender property for this person object. So here, JavaScript will create a new gender property for this person object and it will assign a value male to that property. So if I log this person object in the developer console again, you will see that we have one extra property there. So here you can see we have a gender property added to this person object. Similarly, we can also use square bracket notation to add a new property for our object. So let's say we also want to add a city property. So we use the object name and then square bracket and within the quotes, we have to specify the property name. So let's say we want to have this city property and let's assign it. Let's say city is London. All right. Now again, the city property is not present in this person object. So here JavaScript will create a new city property and it will assign it with this value. So if I log this person object again, you can see if I expand this, you can see we also have a city property here. Okay. So in this way, we can add new properties to an object outside of it. All right. So here we have learned how to add new properties to an object. Okay, so to access a property and to modify its value or to add new properties, we can either use square bracket notation or dot notation as we have learned in this lecture. So there are two ways to access an object's property one by using dot notation and second by using square bracket notation.